Welcome everybody, Daniel with Noble Tech here. Today I want to take a couple of minutes to show you the new backscatter adjustment tool in the latest release of Time Zero Professional. This utility and tool is specifically for folks that had a previous Gen 1 or Gen 2 system recording into Time Zero and have now upgraded to a Gen 3 system. In the past, what we would tell you to do is export your data before you started the new Gen 3 system and re-import that into the software. And that would give the uh, ability to have two different databases, one for the newly recorded Gen 3 information and one for the previously recorded Gen 2 information. The reason being is that the backscatter algorithm between the older generations and the new generation is significantly changed. And so we wanted to make sure that there's a way you could differentiate between what was a rock then and what's a rock now. Um, with the uh, tool in the software, now we can make those adjustments. And so you can kind of match the color shading of the backscatter for those two uh, databases. And there's also a little utility that we've made that will make the transfer automatically for you. So I'm going to minimize the software and we'll take a quick look at the utility that we have available for download. And uh, of course in here there is a readme so there are some instructions that you can reference when you're doing this. If you have backscatter recorded onto a separate hard drive um, you'll find instructions on what you're going to need to do uh, to make some changes in the utility. So double click the convert backscatter tool and it's going to pop up with a little warning that I have imported backscatter information already so I'm not going to replace mine but you would select yes if you did not have any uh, imported backscatter. If you do uh, get a hold of one of us and we can kind of walk you through what the options are. So once that's done, I'll be able to turn on my imported backscatter database. And now you'll see what would be my previously recorded Gen 2 information and my Gen 3 stuff here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the options menu and we're just going to do a quick demonstration of how this works. So you'll see this imported backscatter adjustment tool right here. And I'm going to go ahead and make an adjustment here. And this allows me to sort of tweak on the fly what that recorded information is. I can go back down and I can decrease the offset or I can increase the offset. Now, in fairness, these two are both recorded with a Gen 3 system, so I'm not going to see a huge difference. But, uh, you know, with a Gen 2 system in deep water versus a Gen 2 system in shallow water, you would see a big difference. So this is not a permanent change to the database. It's just adjusting it sort of on the fly to match what you're mapping in real time with the, with the Gen 3 system. So there you have it. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. And thanks for watching.